Hello, and welcome back to Hyperspeed and Destroy. I've got a student of rage games while drinking energy drinks. Today, we are all out of energy drinks. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're going to be going straight to the speedrunning part of this. And by speedrunning, I mean beating this at a decent Let's Play race. Because um, I'm not actually good at speedrunning. Uh, that's a, that's just a mis minor disclaimer. A, li a minor misdemeanor right there. Um, because lying is now a crime. Uh, all crimes are now based on biblical code. Um, so lying is now one of them. Um, but it's only a minor misdemeanor, because uh, unlike uh, the Christian God, um, the Justice Department does not see all sins as equal. I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. At this point, I am just babbling. But that's fine, because I need to focus on this. Babbling is okay. Babbling is fine in this show. Most of the time, it's not the type of thing I want to do, because I want to have some intelligent commentary. But this show is pretty much all about babbling. It's literally just me babbling on like motherfucking Babylon. Like goddamn gardens... Garden of Eden, motherfucking Babylon, uh, more biblical references that I don't know why, I don't know why I'm on biblical references right now, it's fine, don't worry about it, it's just happening, this is happening, this is real, this is motherfucking, this is the shit, this is how things go, this is how you win, this is how the game is played, I'm playing the game, this is the game, the game is Cuphead, I'm playing it, this is how I'm playing it, this is how it was meant to be played, alright, we're gonna focus fire one of these guys so that they go the fuck away and stop being little bitches like I know they are. Then, we're going to move on to the last phase during which we will hopefully have enough health to take out the final boss. I'm gonna save my ult for the last phase because I know that that's gonna be the best time to have it because the last phase is a real bitch and I don't wanna deal with that shit. So here we go. Oh, he's dead, okay. Back, going to tracing shots. We figured out this strat last time. If you go to tracing shots during this phase, then you're pretty much safe. He will sometimes move you like that, but hopefully not when the thing is coming towards you, because that would actually be a problem. Then I would not be safe, and I'd be a hypocrite. I don't like being a hypocrite, because hypocrite sounds like hippo, and hippos are fat. I am also fat, and I don't like to be offended by being fat. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're back to babbling. Okay. It's okay, though, because this seems to be working. It doesn't matter if I'm babbling as long as it works. Long as it works, man. Doesn't matter what it, what it is. Dynamite's martial art. We don't care. Fuck you. We're gonna open that shit up again, and then hopefully kill him. The game lagged. I don't know why that happened. I'm really pissed, because I, that took- that cost me a health, because the game lagged. Oh shit, that was close. I'm close. This is so close. I did it. It's over. It's over. That's the beginning of the episode. We're off to a good start. Holy shit, guys. We're there. We've reached that point. We've reached that point. Hello! I forgot to start the timer. So, welcome to the episode. Thanks for watching. Usually I say that at the end, but I'm saying that now because I'm especially thankful for you watching today. Um, I'm in a good mood. I just beat that boss. We're moving on to one of the finals. We might be beating this game today. I'm hyped. I'm ready. I'm going. Let's go. All right. Show me that fucking money. Phantom Express. Ghost Train. Try your luck. Hmm. I wonder, am I lucky? Do I feel lucky, punk? That's what I'm asking. Alright, time to move on to the boss that took me literally weeks the first time. <laughs> I think that was the most phases I've gone through with a laugh in the past. Well, looky here, you actually pulled it off. But you've made me lose a bet, and for that, you ain't seeing the boss just yet. We're gonna play a little game first. <laughs> <clears throat> Time to play uh, with Mr. King Dice. Good old-fashioned King Dice. This boss took me actual weeks, and I don't remember why, to be entirely honest. Uh, actually, no, I do remember why. I do remember why it took me weeks. What I don't remember is the strat for beating these guys. Um, I know that there are certain bosses that I don't want to face in this section because they are particularly hard. This, I'm pretty sure, is one of them. Um, particularly because of that guy right there. Um, I don't like that. I don't like, uh, how there's fluids coming out of every direction, and eyeballs, and that right there. See, that's what I don't like. Those fluids, not my kind of, not my kind of thing. So, this boss I'm going to, uh, try to avoid. This is number one. Uh, I guess we're gonna go through each of the bosses and figure out which ones are the bad ones. Figure out which ones are the ones we can't beat. Um, and then focus on that in the future. This one I don't like because there's three of them. 
and they all do separate things, and you have to eliminate them one by one. And I think I have to use the tracing shots on this last guy because uh, none of the shots are getting to him. Nope, never mind. Tracing shots aren't getting to him either because he's getting stopped by the other two. Oh, these guys you can walk through now. I didn't know that. Now that I... Never mind, you can't walk through them. All right, we are avoiding that guy. We don't want to deal with number one. Let's maybe focus on number two. Um, so you roll a dice. This section, um, I don't know why I did that. This section, I actually am going to restart a lot because this boss is a fucking pain. So, what I want to do here is try to reliably get bosses that I, I like and avoid ones that I don't. So if I remember correctly, one is the only problematic one in the first area. Um, if I can get two or three, I'll be fine. Um, there are just certain bosses I just can't face. Uh, this one is the by far the easiest one of all of the bosses during this section. Um, talk about a boss rush, man. This game decides to put a boss rush within its boss rush. This one is the easiest phase because um, he only has two attacks. Well, he has one attack and then he moves. Um, and then there are those things in the center, which would be a problem if I wasn't using the smoke bomb, the most overpowered thing in the game. Because I don't have to focus on when I time my dodge through them, because I can just teleport through them anyway. And then this, this attack is easy, because while it is a spiral thing, and spiral things do tend to be hard, it moves slow enough that you can see it coming, and um, jump over it pretty easy. So, this phase is easy. This is, this is probably the easiest boss there, there could possibly be. And if I take any damage during it, I usually feel pretty ashamed, like I do now. Um, but I, us I usually restart if I take any damage during this one, but I kind of want to get through some of these so that I can remember um, what uh, bosses I can and can't face. Um, so, uh, two is one of the okay ones. Um, let's see what five is. I mean, two and, sorry, two and three are the okay ones. One is one of the ones I don't want to fight. So, let's keep that on the list. One is one of the no-goes. Uh, this one's kind of tough, but, uh, pretty doable. Um, there we go. Uh, this one is especially doable because, uh, of the fact that those skulls there are, um, well, you're supposed to figure out quickly which way to dodge. But, uh, the direction of your dodge, it doesn't matter if you're using Smoke Bomb. So, that's that. Also, I'm not doing very well right now, primarily due to the fact that, um, I'm- It's probably because I'm talking, to be entirely honest. Um, but I'm not gonna stop doing that, because that's literally the point of this show. It'd get very boring if I just stood here and played this game. Which I have done in the past. Um, particularly- uh, well, I fucked that up, I fucked up the timing. Particularly with- You fucking bitch. <laughs> Particularly with, uh, ga uh, Super Meat Boy. I, there was a long time when I didn't talk. Um, because I was focused. And a little bit with Dark Souls. Um, alright, so we want not three. Or not, not one. So, three is fine. Three is okay. We'll do three. Um, I think that once we get into... Once we figure out which bosses can and can't be beaten, um, I'm going to try and get the random generator to line up, um... The hearts, because if you see on that map, there are hearts, um, which show you, uh, which bosses are the better ones to beat, um, because if you beat those specific bosses, um, you gain health, um, and I would like that, I would like to do that, so that I can tank through the final section of this boss, because it's the hardest part by far, um, and it is not optional, unlike the other ones, um, so I'm gonna try and build up health, so once, once we figure out which bosses are the bad ones, um, I'm going to try and I'm going to restart over and over again like a little bit until uh, we get the hearts positioned in such a way that I can get all of them uh, without having to deal with any of the really hard bosses. Um, and that's going to be my strat for beating uh, King Dice. Uh, King Dice is, honestly, I think King Dice is probably the hardest boss in this game. He's even harder than the final boss in my opinion. Um, the final boss has, some, has a particular section where you just have to be perfect. Um, and that can be real hard, but it's not this lengthy, strategically complex, um, section like this. So let's see, I got that one, uh, I want to get, I think six is the bad one, but I guess we'll find out, because four right now is what we're doing. So I think one and six are the bad ones. Um, I guess we'll see, if I'm right about that. Uh, yeah, this one's not too bad. 
Um, this one I'm just going to use the tracer shots and then the spread shot when I get close. Um, and I'm just going to dodge over this and hope for the hope that the shots they shoot are not positioned in such a way that I physically cannot dodge them, because that happens sometimes. I mean, I'm sure I could dodge them, it's just like, they're positioned in a way that I have to be practically perfect to even deal with it. That's not too big a deal, we can jump over that. This one uh, looks like one that I want to play the long game on, because it's pretty easy to dodge them as long as I'm focusing on dodging and not uh, attacking. So I probably want to do these tracer shot with this one. Uh, every now and then I think I can step up and use this thing when I get close, like that. I think that's a decent strap, but um, tracer shots for the most part. Okay, so uh, two, three, four, and five are fine. So it's one and six that are the problem. So now I don't want a two. I found that um, it's easier to get what you want um, if you do it on the first spin of the dice, uh, because the timing is easier to predict. I do have to figure out the timing again, because I was going for a 3 there, and I got a 2. I did realize as soon as I jumped that I was wrong. Uh, oh yeah, this one's definitely the bad one. Um, which one was this? Was this 6? This was 6, right? Uh, I'm going to use my ult on this one, because I, I would like to get through it. Even though I'm not going to win on this run, because I know that this one sucks. Um, I'd like to get through to the next section, so that I can figure out which one is the hard one again. Um, this one sucks, because there is... First of all, there's the exploding packages, which are not fun. Then there's the ghosts, which go up at unpredictable times, and you can't see them because they're stuck in the foreground. I mean, what's really cool about this game is that every single boss um, in Cuphead is really uh, unique and different. What's not great is the fact that uh, some of the ideas do not play very well. A lot of them do, actually. Um, it's actually overall a really good game. Uh, but, um, I forgot what I was saying. It's overall a really good game, but there's just every now and then you encounter one boss here and there that just is kind of a frustrating piece of shit. Um, like the Medusa boss is really unfair. Um, that one I really hate. Um, I don't like, uh, the horse there because, while I think that the idea of keeping some things concealed behind foreground stuff is an interesting concept, and it looks really cool when you're playing it, um, it's just honestly too frustrating, um, and it's just too hard. It's just, it's not fun. But the good news about that one is that that's in this section where there's a lot of optional uh, parts to this, because you don't have to beat every one of King Dice's minions. You only have to beat a few of them. Um, so, okay, it looks like this was 8. Um, 8 is definitely a, an easy doable one. Um, so eight's on, the, 8's on the good list. So the bad list currently consists of... So we, don't, we want to avoid 1 and 6 currently. Uh, this was 9, so 7 is the bad one. I was not paying attention at the beginning, so I didn't see where these things are. But it's fine, because I have time to figure it out. And honestly, all that happens when you fuck up is that he moves a little faster and it's harder to, be, to dodge him. I'm going to go for an alt, even though this one is easy. Uh, I usually don't use alts on this one, but I don't expect to win this time, to be entirely honest. I'm really just uh, doing this because I want to get... Well, no, I already I already know all the bosses now, so maybe I should be playing seriously. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, that one's got him smiling on the top. This is the one that I just hit. I'm going I'm to try it on this run, but I, I'm not going to do it, to be honest. I already know that, because um, I'm not doing very great thus far. Um, but we'll see. Um, at least I can at least I can get some practice in. Let's see what's this one. Uh, that I think was here. Yep. I know the position of most of these things now, so I should be able to do that. Uh, this was... Yeah, that's not him smiling on the top, that's him smiling on the bottom, which means it has to be... Never mind, I was wrong. I actually think it's this one, and this one. Yep, that's what I thought. Now, there's only two cards left, so I don't have to remember anything. Um, I just have to focus on dodging, and then finish those two cards off, and I will be all set. There we go! GG! That's it for the monkey. He's done for.
Um, I like this concept that you have to remember the things while also fighting him. Uh, this game has a really cool idea of, um, like, uh, mixing different concepts together. And I think that mixing different concepts together is a great way to do things in general. Let's see, I don't want a 2, I just want to, so I'll go for a 1. Now this one I want a 2, so I just wait for him to clap, um, and then, that's a 3. It's fine, that's fine. Okay, now this is the really hard part. This is the part that I can never do. And the reason why is because these cards are damn near impossible to parry because of the way they move and the way they're spaced. And I know that a lot of people have done it in the past, and I know it's possible. I'm just not good at it. So I want to get there with the maximum health possible, which means we don't want any of the hearts to fall on one, six, or seven. What is seven? If, if it falls on seven, we'll try it, because I don't know. So, okay, one of them's on six, so we're just gonna restart. Um, I'm gonna be a little bitch during this part, because uh, this part's honestly the hardest boss, in my opinion. So, I just don't want to deal with certain bosses. Okay, it fell on seven, so let's just wait and see what seven is. Uh, I want a three on this one. Nope, that was a one. That was literally the worst thing. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Three, six. It's on a six. We don't want to go with six. So one and six are the two ones we don't want to do. I think I can get a two pretty easy. Never mind, that was a one. I jumped the gun. I'm getting really panicky. Um, here we go. We're not really gambling anymore. We're cheating, but that's fine, because he's King Dice, and I'm sure he cheats anyway, so I don't feel too bad about it. Alright, this one we haven't fought yet, but I do know how to beat it. Um, it's pretty easy if you have the uh, smoke bomb. Okay, I want to get my shots in here, and when he starts to spread, I want to go for this. There we go. Get my shots in. Luckily, there's a long period where he doesn't attack, so you can go for attacks then. Um, and then focus on dodging during the other sections, which I think works out over well, uh, works out overall pretty well. Um, this boss is an interesting concept. It's a little too simple, um, to be honest, and pretty easy. I say as I immediately get hit. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's fine. We get that heart back. I'd like to have more going into King Dice, but that's all right. We're gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish this try. And then we'll do another one. Okay, I want a two on this one. That was a three. Alright, whatever. Okay. Thanks for watching and stay interesting. We'll do this next time.